what is up everybody another day in the garage working on the s10 this is a center section from strange got our uh, diff in for the rear axle i had a different third member in there um but i don't i don't like it so much and it has having a little problem leaking from the seal so went ahead knew i should have made the upgrade anyway so here we we go this one should be stout but pretty straightforward let's get to it came with this sweet little case uh so that's handy Alrighty. oh boy oh boy she is pretty best part faux show new sticker for the toolbox do my eyes deceive me or do i have two new stickers for the toolbox all right a little bit of informations here all right let's go ahead and pull her out of here i suppose how heavy these things were <laughs> here she is it's a strange nodular case um, with the upgraded 1350 chromoly uh, yoke here and then in the rear nothing fancy just a full spool none of that LSD junk we want both tires spinning because if both ain't spinning then you sure ain't winning got our big old shafts through there it's a 350 gear or you got to turn this thing three and a half times to turn that once basically the lower that number the higher mile an hour you can get out of it so since this is a 350 this will have a higher top end than say a 450 or like a 650 whatever the higher the higher the number, the less mile an hour, but you get uh, you get a lot more gear advantage that way. We'll just go ahead and rip the old one out. Uh, to do that, got to pull both tires out. Got to pull the brake um, calipers off. And then the brake rotor will slide out. And then uh, spin the axles around. The axles have a little hole in it so you can get in, pull that axle retaining plate. And then slide the axles out just enough to pull them out of the diff that's already in there. Then I can unbolt the diff, slide the diff out, slide the new diff in, then repeat the process in reverse. I'll slide the axles in, match them with those splines, axle retaining plate, brake rotor, brake uh, calipers, and wheels. Let's get to it. The old diff is out. Here she is. So you can see, I guess you can't really see that good, but this uh, right here is where it was leaking from that uh, shaft seal there. So that's that's the uh, reason. That, and yes, I know it's rebuildable and it would be way cheaper to rebuild it, but um, I knew that that was kind of one of my weak links anyway. So I decided to go ahead and upgrade to this here 
strange one. So I'll go ahead and take this tag off and um, go ahead and get that installed. Here's my axles, by the way. These short little dudes. They're they're stubby, but they are pretty beefy. We got some thickness to them here, so so I'm pretty confident these guys will hold about anything I can throw at them, at least for now. And now we got a strong diff to match with the 1350 joint or yoke, so I can have a uh, 1350 U joint, which is good because that's uh, strong. Anyway. It's going to be probably a terrible pain getting this thing. I use my uh, uh, creeper, and I can you can set it up as a seat. So I got to roll it underneath there, set it up as a seat inside the forelink because it can't roll under the forelink. I I just really need a lift. That's the problem here. Set it up as a seat in the forelink, and then that's what I did to get this bad boy out. And I'm going to have to do that to get this bad boy in. And lifting it up onto the seat is going to be significantly harder than dropping that one down off the seat. It wasn't very graceful, but I did it. This one, not looking forward to it, but it's got to happen somehow. Yes, I do have a jack, but the jack is currently not the only thing holding up the front end, but it's under the front end and I don't really want to take it out. Looks like we're doing it by hand. There she is, new strange differential installed. Four nine inch, um, 350 gear, sweet, 1350 chromoly yoke, all the bells and whistles. And let's see, I guess it's time to put the axles back in. Got the uh, Will Woods back in. I know, yes, I still need to clean this off. I will. But got the Will Wood rear disc back in, uh, axles in and everything. So now they're finally the perfect pair. We got the Strange axle with the Strange diff. I know you can't really see that it says Stranger. Anyway, I think she's ready to rip. I just got to dump uh, two, three, or four quarts of liquid in what will it be i don't know it's kind of a mystery till you find out but dump the fluid in and throw the big old tires back on and then um i still have to work on my transmission my uh, welder died the other day so that uh transmission video was going to come out before this one but now i believe a transmission video will be delayed because i need my welder to make the rear mount anyway Sorry for rambling on there. Uh, we're coming along. Last thing will be, I'll need to make a cooler for the tranny, the trans tunnel, and then uh, once all that's in, I can size the drive shaft from 
this bad boy up to the uh, rear of the tranny. So that's 1350, which is going to be way better than a 1310, which um, I think was the very first diff I bought. Uh, so that'll be way better. Anyway, if you like the build, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to knock this thing out, get her road ready here in the next few weeks. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.